The Senate ordered MILF Chief Negotiator Mohager Iqbal to explain why he is using an alias in signing the official documents for the peace process. Joyce Balancho tells us why. As the Senate BBL hearing continues today, the discussion focused on MILF Chief Negotiator Mohager Iqbal's use of an alias in signing the draft of the peace process. According to Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr., a person loses trust when he does not know the true identity of a negotiator he is dealing with. It does not inspire confidence when I am negotiating with somebody and I do not know what their real <coughs> identity is. The use of... Uh... Uh, Inom Diger is normal in a revolutionary organization. I, I request this honorable body not, not, not to compel me to disclose my uh, identity. Uh, but uh, I still meet halfway. Government knows my identity. Secretary Teresita Deles and Professor Coronel Ferrer said that the government knows the real name of Iqbal. I know the name but I do not... When you say, do you know to your personal knowledge, Your Honor, I do not have that document, but with government does have it. Kailan niyo nalaman yung totoong pangalan niya? When I was doing my research on the uh, armed conflicts in the Philippines way back in the 1990s, Your Honor. So what is his real name? Uh, that matters, sir, uh, uh, Your Honor. We'll, uh, I think uh, there are privacy and security issues involved here. Senator Francis Escudero, on the other hand, believes that Iqbal should use his real name to know if he is paying taxes and has bank accounts. The senator also asked if the AFP chief of staff knew the real name of Iqbal. General Katapang replied, To my knowledge, we don't know the real name of uh, Mr. Iqbal. It was also discovered in the hearing that Iqbal is receiving compensation from the government as chairman of the Bank Samar Transition Commission using his alias. Almost 100% of the members of the MILF are not using their real names. As for Senator Drilon, Iqbal's use of a nom de guerre in signing the peace agreement does not violate any law. In fact, even some senators are using aliases in signing official documents, committee reports, and bills. He used as examples Senator Jingo Estrada, whose real name is Jose Pimentel Ejercito, and Ramon Bong Revilla Jr., whose real name is Jose Marie Mortel Bautista. The Department of Justice will submit to the committee its position on the said issue. Joyce Balancho reporting for Y News.